Hi, welcome back to another one of my videos. A, you could have guessed from the title of the video what this uh, video is going to be about. So um, this pack was just delivered this morning. The Mystery Ranch, a Komodo Dragon that I kind of found online somewhere. A brand new piece that is unused. Uh, I just have to snagged it up. <laughs> and uh, this Mystery Ranch, uh, basically in 2017, this year, they kind of um, changed their designs for their backpack. They updated the, some certain features of the backpacks. And um, so there were a little bit of comparisons that I kind of read online uh, within the new packs and the old packs. The updated 3 days out, the updated Komodo Dragon and uh, some people like it, some people don't like it. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, minor differences. Uh, personally for me, I like the older designs um, a lot better than the new designs. Even though I don't have the physical uh, either of these packs in the new 2017 design, but I personally prefer the older designs. Um, I'm just going to do a comparison later. Uh, let me just uh, dive right into the this uh, Komodo Dragon pack first that, I, that was just delivered this morning. And, um, there are a little bit of reviews that you can find on the internet, but nothing on YouTube with regards to the Komodo Dragon. You can find a, a ton of videos or reviews on the 3 Day Assault pack, but nothing on the Komodo Dragon, which I personally think the Komodo, the Komodo Dragon or the Dragon Slayer, which I don't have it with me, it's a really underrated backpack. Um, 3 Day Assault, um, bread and butter, really famous pack. Raving reviews everywhere, but Komodo Dragon, um, not so much. So I'm just gonna do this uh, video for anyone who, who's out there uh, contemplating if you should get a Komodo Dragon, or you know if you want to see something on the, about the Komodo Dragon. So um, the Komodo Dragon, the one that I got is not the latest 2017 one. It was just uh, maybe a see a few um, variations before the new one. This one was made in 2014, if I'm not wrong. Um, let me check the tag. Um, I don't know where is it. Let me see. Oh yeah. Um, yep. This one was made in 2014. This one I ordered it um, three days out last year. It was made in 2015. So yeah, this is like two years. Uh, it was made two years ago. This one is made in the Philippines, and this one is made in the USA. So basically, I mystery range. You either get the USA made one or the, the one that's made in Philippines. But um do the comparison later let's just uh get right down to the 3d not the 3d style the komodo dragon okay um the komodo dragon um even though it is made in the philippines um the construction the materials everything is top notch uh, what you can expect from a regular mystery range a tactical pack the military pack um it has um like a ton of mollies that I don't suppose um, anyone will be able to fully utilize them. So um, you can customize in any way you want. But um, yeah, all these mollies, um, they don't add really a lot of weight. But uh, yeah, it's, it's good to have them. Sometimes you need to do something and add attachment and something. So it's good to have them. Um, but I could live with uh, a little less molly. So I, I mean, I don't care. And I personally prefer the older uh, designs of mystery and packs than the 2017 the latest one so um, the famous tri-zip design and this one is like 38 liters the, um, it's a it's a pretty not really big backpack but if you're going for like um holidays uh, overseas you know for travel this one definitely will provide a, a much more space than the three years out um, this one the komodo dragon only comes with the bbs the the bolstered ventilation system from um, Mystery Ranch. Uh, this one is great for pack carry, I mean for operators in the field, like um, you know, military personnel who so are being deployed and you have like body armor and your, you know, uh, Kevlar protective plates or something. Um, it actually prevents the pack from moving around. But I tried this on this morning without, you know, I don't wear body armor. So um, this foam material here, it's hard. Um, you can like squeeze it as a, it's, it's like, you know, it's not hard, hard, but um, when it goes on your body, um, you feel too little like 
thing going across your back. So it tends to feel a little bit uncomfortable about because basically I tried it on. I try this pack on without anything inside, without nothing, with no weight. So maybe um, if you add a little weight, uh, it might be a little bit different, but I haven't tried it yet. So um, this pack only comes with the VVS system. So I am probably not gonna use it. I'm just gonna remove it. Um, and um, this uh, Mystery Ranch Komodo Dragon has been out of stock for uh, like quite a while. Um, it is a really nice pack, a really nice, um, very really nicely built. Um, it has the same run through um, panel here with an elastic on the top and an additional pocket here with um, grommets at the bottom that allows you to drain whatever you know um, liquid that flows out of it. Um, inside of the pack, okay, let's just get it underway. It's exactly like your regular. Um, three days out or yeah like the regular three days out it has two um, ladder pockets at the front left and right and it has a, a mesh pocket left and right for uh, you know a organization and um, yeah the pockets also has a run through at the bottom on the back of the pocket that you can you know slide stuff through um, and uh, molly panels in the back here, that allows you to um, add attachment, a little uh, run through. Is it a run through? No, this pocket doesn't. Oh yeah, it is a run through pocket. Is it? Let me check. Uh, no, this a little bladder pocket here. It doesn't run through, so it, it kind of closes off at the bottom. And uh, there's a little panel here that has um, Velcro, the male, the the not the soft side, the hard side on the back here that allows you to put the um, Mystery Ranch proprietary, um, proprietary attachment. I can't remember what is it called. <laughs> I have to look it up. A little hook here, um, paracord that allows you to hang your pack up. And on the top, um, you have the um, soft Velcro for your morel patches. To, uh, and one top, a mini pocket with uh, a little bit of a a organization inside two little um, ones on the left and one main one on the right and then below this top pocket that's another bottom pocket here that uh, is you know supported by this mashed which is the side so it uh, below that it's a little like a a what is that zipper that uh, goes from the left to the right to open it it's really small it allows you to access to the main compartment, which is here, into the pack. And um, because this is this was one of the older designs, I can't seem to close it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I think it's brand new, so it's a little stiff. Uh, because this was the older design, it does have two little zippered um, vertical pockets next to the shoulder harness to, uh, that allows you to run your radio antennas out or your hydration tubes and you can see it right here there you go uh, the one that I got uh, three days out okay I'm just gonna do the comparison later just, uh, just continue with the pack okay um, other than that um, the Mystery Ranch um, Futura yoke system that allows uh, the pack to be adjusted to different uh, lengths of torsos um, and basically, yeah, this is, uh, that's it about the pack. Uh, it is made in the Philippines, uh, in Clark Field. That's a place in Philippines. Uh, and he has, uh, you know, the initials, like regular measuring range packs of who made it and who signed it. Um, and uh, it doesn't come with all these um, plastic carabiners. Uh, these are from uh, ITW Nexus. Uh, which is a really famous, uh, not really famous, but uh, a pretty well-known company that makes uh, tactical buckles, um, carabiners uh, for the military. You can probably find a lot of this um, awesome stuff um, in your, you know, um, local hometown or something, or online or something, you know. And um, yeah, this pack also comes with the, what is this called? The Duraflex um, Auto Lock a Mojave, if I'm not wrong, the auto lock buckles, uh, top and bottom. And uh, Mystery Ranch actually in included a, the little, um, like, back, uh, the color that's similar to the back, the little Velcro strip that allows you to 
um, a, organize your ex, uh, was this excessive um, uh, compression strap. The, if you don't um, do anything to it, it's just dangle and it looks really ugly. And I don't like um, all that dangling stuff on the back because uh, sometimes it, it tends to get caught up in certain places, uh, so it's not really good. So you know, all these dangling's, um, dangling straps and everything, just uh, keep them secured. Uh, yeah, Mystery Wrench actually comes with uh, two for the top and two at the bottom, but uh, Mystery Wrench doesn't include anything for the uh, shoulder strap, which uh, straight out of the, the pack is really long. Um, it looks really funny. <laughs> so uh, I actually picked up a couple of these uh, ITW Nexus uh, Web Dominators uh, in... Um, a what is this coyote brown color they they actually have two different kind of um like a um, desert tan color the coyote brown and the tan i think it's the desert tan the coyote brown color has a slightly um darker uh, color tone to it compared to the tan and um, the coyote brown color scheme actually uh it's pretty similar to the one that um, Mystery Ranch is using for the buckles and stuff. So if you get the tan one, uh, it tends to be a little bit lighter. And um, this uh, little a ITW, a, it was a Tech Link plus the Carabiner. Um, this one I got it in tan, so you can probably see the, the color comparison. This is tan and this is the Coyote Brown. So this one is much lighter, it's almost like sand. This one is the, the Coyote Brown, you know, the Mystery Ranch one. So um, these little things, uh, I'm probably gonna do another video uh, separately, but they, they, they don't have that metal sound, you know, on the back when you hang metal carabiners on it. And uh, it holds up to like 150 kilograms or something, but I've yet to test it. So uh, it's good to just um, have it on your back. Sometimes you need to hang something on it. You can pick this up like relatively cheap from uh, a lot of places. So um, I highly recommend it. They're web dominators um, from ITW. Um, Nexus recommended as well. Uh, it's a really simple piece of um, like uh, equipment that allows you to attach um, your organize your straps, loose straps, and uh, maybe hang something, run um, your cords through or something. It's uh, recommended as well. And um, like um, the three days out that I reviewed uh, previously, the shoulder pads uh, are thick and has the little uh, reinforced plastic inside here, so it holds its shape and doesn't um, turn this little shoulder strap into something that uh, you know is gonna hurt your shoulders so um, moral patches no it doesn't come with moral patches those are mine um, Singapore Japan you know I run both places um, and what else is that oh this one the Star Wars um, Trooper this one I got it from Universal Studios Japan so that's not included as well the black carabiner no not included so basically yeah it's a uh, you get the pack um, it's a really nice pack, uh, but uh, it only comes with um, the BVS system, uh, which most of us don't use. Uh, and I don't think you can get any of this uh, Komodo Dragon uh, easily these days because they've been sold out for a while. And um, compare these to the latest uh, Mystery Ranch 2000. Wait, I'm 13 minutes into the video, so it's going to be a little bit uh, long uh, hanging there. I probably, if it's too long, if it's going to reach like 20 minutes, I'm probably going to cut it and do a next video comparing both these packs. So hang in there. Um, okay, other than that, um, not much to say about it. Um, uh, comparing this to the new Mystery Ranch uh, Komodo Dragon, the 2017 model, which is uh, made in the USA. Uh, I don't have it personally with me. I mean, I don't have it physically with me, not personally with me. Um, they lose uh, a lot of the molly, the power system. They lose the bottom one, so they only have three rolls on the top. And um, they lose the top ones and have another three at the, in the middle here. And uh, they lose this um, run-through pocket. They keep the elastic uh, pocket on the side. This run-through, they take it away because uh, I guess the mollies and the run-through pocket or something. Um, one of the 2006, at the 2016 SHOT Show in um, US, uh, you can probably check that video out on YouTube. Um, the representative from Mystery Ranch actually you know, said that they're gonna lose weight, so they're gonna lose a lot of, um, uh, lose weight and certain parts of the bag that um, it's not uh, really needed. Um, and uh, what else is different? Oh, the buckles here are different as well. Uh, the 2017 motor doesn't have the um, auto lock. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I personally like it, um, so it's just a regular bu buckle. And um, the design changes as well. Um, 
not sure about the pockets, probably um, certain changes, but I'm not sure because I don't have the pack with me. In the back here, um, the vertical side um, zip pocket, uh, the little holes, they're going to lose them, drop them. And uh, the middle section here, I'm not sure, probably going to be one single one, just like the three days out that I uh, reviewed earlier. And other than that, um, it's pretty much going to be the same pack, maybe lighter, I'm not sure, but um, not a lot of reviews on the a Mystery Ranch Komodo Dragon. A, but I personally feel that uh, a Komodo Dragon, it's a, it's a little bit too big for everyday carry. But if you're traveling uh, for a couple of days, uh, it does allow you to pack a lot more than um, the 33 liter um, three days out. So um, if you're contemplating whether you want to pick up the Komodo Dragon on a three days out, um, I would say if you, it depends on what you, you, you will need to pack or what you need, you to, you, you need to use it for. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't really speak for a moment there. Um, three day assault, it's uh, more versatile in a way that um, you can use it for a lot more purposes. But um, for the um, Komodo Dragon, only for extended missions like um, a week worth of clothing and supplies. Uh, so it's not like you're going to carry this Komodo Dragon every day. It does offer you a lot more space as well. So. Um, 16 minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna run through this a little bit faster. Remember the Dunamis gear um, pouches that I told you about. This one attached a little bit much easier on the um, Mystery Ranch Komodo Dragon as compared to then compared to the um, 3DS out because um, the extra uh, molly straps here allows you to hook the system in. But uh, same thing in the back here. Uh, at the bottom here, you don't really have anything to hook that in, so I just hooked it um, Because this one has the BVS system, um, you can actually remove the um, BVS system and just hooked it uh, across here and uh, Okay, let me just get into the BVS system. Uh, there's a little buckle that holds this, this foam pieces on the back All you have to do is just put your finger and pop the push tab on the outside and um, Just pull it out and then um, just slide it out. This is there. It is the little foam piece. Um, it's from um, Mystery Ranch, and uh, leaving you with nothing in in the back here. It's just a little um, plastic buckle that clips in, and when you push this little button here, it just um, pops right out. There you go. So yeah, you can just uh, remove it easily and uh, put it back on if you need it. Um, so yeah, this one goes on much easier with um, this little plastic thing because uh, little, this little hoops here has a um, hooking space for the G clips. So um, yeah, that's it for the uh, Mystery Ranch uh, Komodo Dragon. Really great pack. Um, even though it's made in the Philippines, um, the quality, the overall construction and materials, nothing's been compromised. So uh, thanks for checking out my videos. I'm just going to do a second video that's going to follow up to this comparing the both packs. In the meantime, see you and take care.